Hey, this is Arvid, and I would like to share with you a short demo of our augmented reality product, Unite AR. This demo will showcase how you can create an image and ground plane based AR experience within minutes, and that too without any coding. Let's get started by going to UniteAR.com. Now, UniteAR is a SaaS platform that lets you set up an AR experience and deliver them as a web experience or an app based experience. There is a sign up process, and also you need to go through a verification. And once that's done, you can log in. Or you can just click on this button and sign in with your Google ID. But I have a registered email ID, so I'm going to head over to sign in and type in my email ID and password. Once you've signed in, you'll be taken to this page over here, which is your project library. And this is where you manage all your projects. And over to the left, you have image based AR, ground plane AR and AR app creator. So we're going to start by exploring what is image based AR. Now, this is where you scan a target image and through using an application or a web scanner to experience the augmented reality content. So I'm going to click on add new project. And that is going to load up the editor. You'll be given two options when before the editor comes live. You can choose either image detection or image detection with QR. Now image detection with QR has a QR code attached to it so there won't be any duplication issues. But with image detection you don't have a QR and there will be duplication issues. That means you cannot upload a single image two times. So I'm going to click on create under image detection and browse a target image. I'm going to select this image that I pulled out from Google and wait for it to upload. So now that's done, I can click on continue and that has loaded up the editor. I'm going to click on, I have a 3D model saved up earlier, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to put that on top of this image. Or alternatively, you can, you, you can put in videos or 360 degree videos, images, audio, or a CTA button if you want that. Uh, we also have a library of content that if you are looking at content, so we have that as well. So, but since I have a customized content, I'm going to click on browse and select this content over here, which is an engine model and hit open and wait for it to upload. Once that's done uploading, I can see a preview like this. I can select the model and zoom in if I want, but for now, just going to put it up a bit, scale it and rotate it. So now you can see, or what you can do is if you are scanning on a textbook, if you are doing this on a textbook or a printed surface, you can put it like this as well. Let me just keep it down a little. All right. So I think that's good. I think that's good. We can leave it like that and maybe reduce the scale a little bit. Perfect. So. Now I'm happy with the way it looks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on preview. I can click on preview to see a preview of how it is going to look. It's not yet published. It's not yet live, but you can still use the app to see how it is. But once you're happy with everything, once you've tested it and you're okay with it, you can click on save and publish. And that's going to make this augmented reality experience live. You can see that a save successfully message has popped up at the bottom. Now this is all there to it to create an augmented reality experience using Unit AR. Now let's go over to our project library and as seen on the left, let's explore the second option that is ground plane AR. I'm going to click on it. And now this is the same as image based AR except you don't have to go through the target image uploading process. You can directly upload a 3D model and place it on top of ground or a flat surface. So I'm going to click on 3D and use the exact same model that I used earlier. I'll click on open and wait for it to upload. 
Now the upload is complete and I can see a preview like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it there and scale it a little bit. I can also, if I select it and it can rotate it so that it's going to face the viewer. All right. Okay, so once you're happy with the positioning and the way it looks, you can click on hit save and experience. And that's going to bring that model to the ground plane. Now, if you go back to the project library again, if you click on the close button and click on the icon over here, it's going to take you back to the project library. And if you click on AR app creator, that is going to let you white label United AR application in the Play Store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create new application. That is going to load up a page where I have to enter the app name. I'm going to enter a test UTI and you can choose a font type. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at Open Sans. And also you can choose to upload an icon, an app icon. I'm just going to choose that one because it's, it was just lying there handy. And I'm going to click on crop. So you have your app icon uploaded. And I'm going to click on start creating app. And that will ask you to create your app loading page. That means when you tap on the icon and when the app is loading, you can set the page to show when the while the application is loading. You can you have different types of logo shapes. I'm going to click on square and leave it at that because it just doesn't make any difference since it's a test one. You can also add a background. You can add a background image or a color, or if you have a custom image, you can upload that as well. However, there's a size limit of five megabytes. And you also have a recommended size and the supported formats as well. Once you're happy with everything, you can click on the next button, and that's going to take you to the image scanning page. This is where you point the mobile phone or the device as a printed a printed paper or a, an image to scan it so you can set up all the buttons and you know the skins the flash button or AR gallery anything so I'm just going to leave it at default and click on next and if you want to have a site menu you can enable that here and so that's going to add this burger icon over at the top left I'm going to click on add new menu and page and you can enter the details and that is going to appear on on the top. So you can have a preview like this. I'm just going to disable that for now and click on the next button. And now this is going to take you to the content appearance page. This is a page where once the content's been loaded, you have different controls. You have you can take a picture or you can shoot a video or you can just put it on the ground plane if it's an image one or a target image base one. So I'm, I'm also here also, I'm just going to leave it at default and click on finish steps. And that's going to ask me for confirmation and I'm gonna click on yes, I'm sure. Now it's going to ask me which OS that I need this to be built in. Uh, for iOS, you have difficult steps. You have to wait for their confirmation and things like that. So I'm just going to demo Android. So I'm going to click on generate app and it is going to build the app. Now this, this is going to take about five minutes to build the app. So let's all just wait. When the app building process is complete, you'll be taken to this page where you can scan this QR code to download it to, to your phone or your device, or you can just click on this download button and save it to your computer. Another interesting feature that's available with United AR is that you can embed the Web AR viewer onto your website. So to do that, in your project library, you need to click on Embed Web AR Viewer. Now this comes in handy for e-commerce website who wants to showcase their products, let's say a sofa set. You can give customers try on, like to see how the sofa would fit inside their living room and things like that. So once I'm in this page over here, what I can do is I can copy this iframe code. I can adjust the height and width over here, but I'm just going to leave it at default and I'm going to click on copy embed code. 
After this, I'm going to minimize my browser window and create a new text document and name it test. And I'm going to also change the extension to HTML so that it's a uh, it's a web file. Now I'm going to right click it and open it with um, open it with another uh, text editor. So let me find the Notepad. Okay, so Notepad and click OK. Now I'm going to click. On, I know I'm going to paste this by pressing Control V and save it. So now when I close it and open it up with a browser, what it's going to take me to is the Unit AR web scanner. Now that's going to ask permission for opening up the camera and if you give the permission as yes, then it's going to uh, let you experience the augmented reality experience as I said before. Last but not least, let's have a look at how the experience we created is going to look like in the Unite Air application. You can see that I've downloaded the Unite Air application from Play Store and now I'm going to open it up. As you can see, it's also available in App Store as well, so iOS users can also try it out. So once it's opened up, I'm going to scan the image that I've just printed out. As you, if you remember, you can see that the target image I've uploaded, it's here now in a printed form. I'm going to scan it, and you can see that the target has been found, and the 3D model is going to load up. So this is completely intractable, and you can kind of move it around in that space and also scale it up. And if you try and rotate the paper, it, the model is going to rotate with it. So you can see what I'm doing here. You can see that the model has been turned as well with the paper. Now, if you look at the left bottom, you can see an option called ground plane. Now that lets you put the model on top of a flat surface. So I'm going to take away the paper and put in a uh, a tile texture that I've printed out. So the model is going to appear a bit big because it's going to detect the pattern as a bit a, a bit large. So as you can see that the model is appeared and it's a it's huge and I'm gonna scale it down. So if you place it on top of like a real floor or a table, the portion would be right. So that's about the app experience. You can also try out the web experience as well. And I hope again you guys like our product. Thank you for watching.